I'm Len Schroeder. And I'm Julio Zamora. Hey, it's Valentine's Day. Uh, Next Thursday. Uh We're going to be talking about what else but roses. Yes, we're going to tell you how to take care of those cut roses. And we're going to be talking about planting roses in the garden and landscape. We'll talk about different types and varieties. And we'll be sure to discuss shrub roses, knockouts, carpet roses, drift roses, etc. So stay tuned. And we'll be back after this short break. Here's the dirt on potting mixes. They're not all created equal. A Spoma organic potting mix gives roots the ideal balance of air and moisture. It contains a special blend of beneficial mycorrhiza to help grow stronger roots, bigger plants, and more bountiful blooms. Try a Spoma organic potting mix indoors and out for all your potted flowers, vegetables, and you'll see why it's the best. Visit Espoma.com for a retailer near you. Organic potting mix from Espoma, a natural in the garden since 1929. Bloomers in the Garden is brought to you each week by Bloomers Home and Garden Center. Bloomers is an award-winning garden center just 20 minutes from Philadelphia. Bloomers has been providing expert advice turning brown thumbs green for over 30 years. At Bloomers, we want you to ask us every question, even if you think it's silly. We share information in a friendly, non-judgmental way that is meant to teach and spread the joy of gardening. Visit Bloomers Home and Garden Center in Washington Township, Gloucester County. For directions, go to bloomers.com, and we'll see you in the garden. Hi, this is Len Schroeder from Bloomers in the Garden. Do you have a landscape, garden, or plant question? If so, call us on the Bloomers in the Garden hotline. Dial 609-685-1880. That's 609-685-1880. Don't be shy. We want to hear from you. And if we use your question on the air, we'll send you a free Bloomers t-shirt. Call us at 609-685-1880. That's 609-685-1880. And we'll see you in the garden. Well, lad, we're going to talk a little bit about cut roses. That's right. Yes. You know, roses come from all over the world. And cut flowers. Uh It's amazing some of the statistics. Colombia Uh is 78% of the world roses, or at least the United States, come from uh, Colombia, 15% from Ecuador, 2% from Mexico. Mm -hmm. But that's just roses. You know, cut flowers, like Holland is a huge, because of all the bulbs, tulips, and daffodils and things, Holland is a huge Huge. producer of cut flowers. Isn't that amazing? But some of the areas that you don't even think of, like Kenya, Kenya, Kenya is a rising star among the cut flower producers. Oh, how about that? You know, it has the right climate. It's it's just and also being the world right. can now get product anywhere. Anywhere. Oh, you know, it's, it's unbelievable. It is. Isn't it? And and you can ship stuff overnight. Right. It, oh, it, who would have thought? Yeah, you know, they were buying things from China and yeah. getting them shipped direct to people's homes. That mm-hmm. I don't know. Maybe, Maybe good or bad. Yeah. I don't, I'm not sure. Yeah, me either. <laughs> I don't yeah. know what's going on. But Ecuador, that's, that's a huge uh, percentage, isn't it, Len? It, it, it is. And they grow 70. some of the best uh, roses in the world. Oh, wow. In the world. So so you're going to get one of those maybe when you go out and buy it. Buy well, I, our our roses, more than likely, that we sell at Bloomers uh-huh. are probably from Ecuador. No kidding. Um, wow. But you got to buy roses. Right. There is a difference between the roses oh, that yeah? you buy at the gas station. So how do you how do you how do you know that? How do you Well, one, it's uh-huh. you got to figure that the roses at the gas station are probably not as good because they're <laughs> 20 bucks a dozen. That's right. And they're smelly too. Uh, in more gas. ways than one. You know, it's by stem length. Oh, okay. It's by stem length. Right. Um for instance, a like our roses mm-hmm. that we're going to sell are going to be between 40 and 50 centimeters. And so that's going to be about 20 inches. Wow. And that is pretty big. Long stem oh, roses. Nice. nice. Okay. The shorter the stem, the cheaper they the are. The cheaper they are. Oh, okay. And then there's also different grades uh-huh. as far as um, how far they're open. Okay. Like, so 
if you go to a grade where it's a, let's just say a 50 centimeter is a five, and then at stage four, right, you don't want them. Oh, no. Because they're, that means stage four okay. is they're pretty much wide open. Oh, okay. You want to have buds that are tight. Tight when, when, when you get them. Yep. So, so we're talking about a stage what? It's usually, they call it stage two, two? Okay. Um, even At stage least. one. Stage, stage one, one is a tight bud. Right. Um, but so much so that they're pr- maybe not even cleaned yet. Oh, uh, okay. Like when we get our roses, what right. we'll do is we immediately put them in water. We cut them. Right away. Cut them, make mm-hmm. a fresh cut. Wow. We're talking about this like a Christmas tree, right? <laughs> That's right. Yeah, we were. <laughs> yeah. And Prolong? Prolong, yeah. If you have that still from Christmas, there you go, huh, Len? It can be used yep. for cut flowers. That's correct. Absolutely. Yeah, we love it. But where you do a fresh cut on the roses mm-hmm. and... On an angle, right? Yeah. A little angle, 45. It's a little more surface area mm-hmm. so it can absorb that water. Right. And that we clean them where we take the outer okay. petals off so that they're when they open... They're going to be real pretty. Oh, Sometimes wow. thorns will nick a, a flower. There'll be a little hole. We clean all those wow. up. So that we give a little extra. Uh, oh yeah, a little bit of extra work on it. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Some of the the bunches that you get that mm-hmm. are usually inexpensive. Right. A lot of them have been put together in places like Colombia, where there are uh, okay. a dozen in a bunch. Right. Ship them. Boom. You know. And, right out. And what happens is you get. Uh, you know, 20 dozen at a time, and they're in the box, and you just shove them in water, mm-hmm. and who knows how long they're going to last. That's right. Yeah. Go to your, your local garden center, garden center mm-hmm. go to your local florist, right. cough up the money, That's right. and yeah. spend, and get get some really nice roses That's right. for your Valentine, yep. mm-hmm. because it will yield dividends. Yes, and she knows, too, right? <laughs> I'd like to get roses. Yeah? You know? Yeah. That's it doesn't great. have to be she. That's right. I'm with you there. Right? I yeah. mean, I wouldn't mind getting roses. Right. There yeah. you go. So Once in a while. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a valentine? Uh, no. Not, not right. No. No, no so. valentine? <laughs> no. no. Right. Ladies out there? <laughs> there you go, ladies. Come on. Let's go. I want some roses today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, you know, remember in, in uh-huh. uh, I remember in school when right. we were a little kid right. that you would fill out valentine's day cards oh, to the yes. entire class i remember that you know you think <laughs> about it, it's kind of weird yeah maybe they still do i don't know i don't know i don't know my kids are all all grown Growing up yeah uh, <laughs> and uh this is a special shout out to steve herman steve. you know who you are uh-huh. yeah <laughs> i'll hook you up steve there you go <laughs> <laughs> we love you yes we do yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness <laughs> And by the way, the Wings are playing this Saturday. Oh wow! Uh, anyway, we all right, we got that out of the way. That's right. Okay, so <laughs> so you're looking for a good grade. Mm-hmm. You're going to get them at a florist. That's right. Um, if it's uh, just before midnight and you haven't gotten your roses, you have my permission to buy them at a gas station. <laughs> Thank um, you, Lynn. But otherwise, <laughs> oh, go my. to a florist and order them now. Yeah, order them now. You know, yeah. there's there's nothing better. Okay. Than for your Valentine to get their roses at the office. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah, I'm with you there. You are the envy of the entire office That's building. right. <laughs> Did you see that? <laughs> right. Did you see that? Look at the roses. Yeah. Who is that? Who gave him that rose? Yeah. That, oh, my who, goodness. Oh, my gosh. I didn't even know she had a boyfriend. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Tell you what, there you go. all you guys out there, that's a little tip. There you go, guys. From a, from a man who sold roses for 30 years. Oh, my. <laughs> get them delivered to the office. Oh, there you go, yeah, guys. Now you're talking. Great tip, Len. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Yep. Sometimes when you get your roses, uh-huh. now, have you had flowers where they all of a sudden they'll wilt down and all oh, of a sudden yes. that head looks like, mm-hmm. you know, it's about to fall off? Right. Mm-hmm. You I've can save that. it. You can save yes, it. Yes, you can. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Do, you, do you remember what that's... The, you, you know when it's flagging, right? But when it's full of water, do you remember that word that we were uh, talking about? Turgid, right? Turgid, turgid. Yeah, it's it. turgid. Turgid, yeah. That's, that's right. right. It's a new word. What you need to do is recut those flowers. Okay. Um, and recut just the single one that that's wilting, one, and you want to cut it underwater, mm-hmm. so that it absorbs water right away. Right. What can happen sometimes is like a little bit of an air bubble, air bubble can get in, in there. Yeah. yeah, that's not good. Yeah, that's not yeah. good. Um, cause tip. that, that air, that air bubble, it, it's like a siphon. Like you ever mm-hmm. siphon gas for a car? No, I haven't done it. You haven't done that? No, I, I've always got gas in my car. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, farmers like me have had to siphon oh. glass a lot. <laughs> oh it goodness. does not taste good. No. <laughs> but what happens is if you lift out uh-huh. that siphon and, and you right. get air in that line, okay. the, it cuts off the siphon. It no longer will absorb water. Oh, boy. Same thing in cut flowers. Okay. If you get those, those go dry or something yeah. happens that way mm-hmm. or you don't stick it into the water, it's yeah. hovering above the water line, that'll yeah. happen. That'll happen. So yeah, you okay. recut it. Recut it. Underwater. Mm-hmm. Put it right back in the vase. There you go. And then you'd be surprised. All of a go. sudden, it goes from being bent to being turgid. Turgid, yes. Turgid. That's There's turgid. that word again. New, new word we learned today. Yep. Turgid. Turgid. Yep. Um, the other thing, right? Uh, if it doesn't, if you do cut it, right. now, do you ever wonder why they, they call that green wire florist wire? Because it's green? No. <laughs> <laughs> because florists use it. Okay. To wrap around okay. the flower to make it appear to be turgid. Turgid. Oh, okay. And if it really comes to that, you can do that. Okay. And also that might help get that water flowing into the flower bud. Because it's standing up. Because it's standing up right. Yeah. Yep. Right. So that's great. That's a little trick. And to keep it and to keep it uh, healthy too. Um you want to take that water out and clean it. Right. That's right. Yeah. So how often should you change the water? Uh, and it can go over every, every two days. Yeah. You know, it yep. doesn't have to be every day uh, unless you're really super clean. <laughs> and <laughs> uh, you can, but, and you just change the water and recut it, like Lennon was saying. Yep. And underneath the water and get it fresh again. That's right. A nice yep. fresh cut. Fresh and, cut. And like you said, that it's because bacteria will grow in that water. Oh, yes. And one thing, too, is don't. Put your roses next to the fruit bowl. Oh, no. <laughs> you know that old saying, one yeah. bad apple? Right. One bad apple is spoiled one. a dozen roses. That's right. <laughs> because it gives off ethylene gas. Ethylene gas. And ethylene is the yeah. thing that makes roses blossom. Boom. It's, you know, they will use ethylene to ripen fruit. How about that? And, again, it's not uh, it's not best. Keep it away. Keep it away from drafts. Drafts, Keep it away from, you know, again, we're back to Christmas trees. Right. You keep it away from (laughs) your heating vents. Heating vents, yes. You don't want to do that. No. No. It dries up quickly. Add a direct sun. Direct sun, another killer. Yeah, avoid direct sun. Mm -hmm. But, again, keeping that that water changed. Oh, yes. And every time you change the water you use. Prolong. (laughs) Prolong yes. if you still have some, you still have or you some. use those little packets. Packets, yes, that, that you get. And yep. any cut flower should use that, and mm-hmm. it and it, it helps the oh, it does. the the cut flowers to absorb more water. Water. Yeah. Same thing it does with a Christmas tree. Same thing, huh? Yep. Wow. And if you Great. look on that Prolong bottle, it has the just in the instructions for cut flowers. Oh yes, it does. Isn't that great? So keep it around. There you go. Good job. Uh, <laughs> all right. So you're gonna buy cut flowers. That's right. Right? Mm-hmm. Yep. It's kind of like Where everybody, or cut roses. That's right. Like everybody else. Uh-huh. We've got an idea that will really, really help. That's right. After this commercial. That's right. Don't give her a dozen roses. Give her a rose garden. There you go. <laughs> now you're that. talking. Oh. <laughs> we'll be right back after this. <laughs> Is your yard and landscape being destroyed by nuisance animal pests? If so, Bonite has a product to solve that problem. Repelzol is an all-natural repellent that works on deer, rabbits, skunks, squirrels, chipmunks, raccoons, and many other nuisance animals. It stays effective for up to two months. The all-natural ingredients in Repelzol use smell, taste, and irritation to keep animals away. Unlike other repellents, Repelzol has no unpleasant odor. Repel's All Natural Formula can be applied to trees, shrubs, perennials, and around edible crops. It also works to prevent animals from chewing on fences and structures. Repel's All is so effective that your satisfaction is guaranteed. Repel's All is available in a concentrate, ready to use, and ready to spray liquid formulations, and in an easy to use granule in a three pound shaker and a six pound bag for spreader applications. Bonide products are family made in America. Look for Repels All products at these fine stores. Bucks Country Gardens, Doylestown, PA. Shady Brook Farms, Yardley, PA. Delray Plus True Value, New Hope, PA. This is Julio Zamora from Bloomers in the Garden. Join us 7 p.m. March 9th at Bloomers Home and Garden Center for Sips and Succulents. We'll have a creative night of playing and planting while sipping your favorite beer, wine, or beverage. Sips and Succulents is a planting party. 
Bloomer's Master of Ceremonies, Stephanie Taylor, and I will teach you how to create and care for a new succulent garden. Succulents are the perfect plants for anyone looking to take their planting and interior design to the next level. Call Bloomer's to register at 856-589-0200. 7 p.m. March 9th at Bloomer's Home and Garden Center, Sips and Succulents will be a fun night out for beginners and experts alike. You'll bring home a new skill, a beautiful new planter, and fun memories made with old friends and new. Registration is $45 per person and basic starter supplies are included. Call Bloomers today to reserve your space. That's 856-589-0200. Please remember this is a 21 and over event and any beer or wine is BYOB. Spots are limited so register early and bring a friend. Deadline for registration is March 1st. For more information, go to bloomers.com or call Bloomers at 856-589-0200, and I'll see you at the party. I beg your pardon. I never promised you a rose garden. There you go. There you go. There you go. Uh, Can you name that singer? Uh, Lynn... Anderson. Anderson, that's right. Back I, in the uh I don't know. 70s. You, you I was a child. You were a child. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't like the song uh, then. I don't like, I don't it, like it now. now. <laughs> it's all right. But <laughs> look, that poor girl, nobody, yeah. you know, she didn't promise a rose garden. Yes. Yeah. You know? She wanted a rose garden. It's time yeah. for you guys to set up. Yes. Step up. Yes. Step up. Yep, for your girl. Yeah, that's it. Yep. Plant a rose garden. So along with those roses, slip in a note that says, together we're going to plant a rose garden in the yeah, yard. That'd be great. That will be as beautiful as you are. Oh, my. Uh, isn't that good? Yeah, I like that. That's then. good. That's why I've been married so long. <laughs> Is that why? <laughs> That's it. That's it. That's wonderful. But you know what? I can't uh-huh. do any of that stuff. Oh, yeah? No. What am I going to do? Bring my wife roses? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> anyway. Um, so but... Anyway. <laughs> She's well taken care of. Yeah, she is. You <laughs> know that. Mm-hmm. But still, planting a rose garden is a great idea. It is. It is. You know, so let's talk about roses. Right. Tell me, when you think of a rose, right? and I'm talking about a planted rose, what do you think of? You think of those big, luscious roses. Big, big flowers. Big flowers, yes. Right? Yep. I'm with you there. But and unfortunately, what I ain't, I'm sorry. Go I ahead. love knockout roses. Oh, I know you do. And I love what they've done, and right. and and we like the company. Everything's mm-hmm. good about them, right? But I'm at the point where I've just about had it. With, really? with, cons- with knockout roses, should be classed in a different category altogether. <laughs> I'm with you there. <laughs> you know, they they yeah. are. They, you know, it's it's. It used to be back in the day that the only right. thing that you could. F- plant that would flower all summer long were roses. Mm, Sure. Now knockouts are like so carefree and so easy. You don't even touch them. (laughs) You know, you don't. But to me, they're not, that's not a rose garden. I don't think so. It's just another shrub. Mm -hmm. It's a, it's a nice shrub. Great, great in, you know, different borders and Mm -hmm. things where a rose garden to me Hybrid teas. Hybrid teas, yep. They're right. mo- most popular, right? Right. Uh, and Grandifloras, Grandifloras Florabundas. Florab- yeah. Now that's now you're talking about. Yeah, now we're talking flowers, right? Varieties yeah. like Mr. Lincoln, Mr. Lincoln, Queen Elizabeth, John F. Kennedy. Peace. Peace. Yeah, that's a big one. And that's a rose garden. Yes. Now we're talking. You know, you can you can do that. Mm-hmm. Um, you can. I mean, it, it requires a little more work, but they're special. Yes, they are. You know, if you compare a, you know, like you said, a peace rose mm-hmm. or a, um, a Mr. Lincoln. Mr. Lincoln, yes. Next to. Both tea roses, wonderful. Yeah, next to some of the other ones mm-hmm. that are shrub roses. Right. And th- th- we drift roses. Mm-hmm. Maidenlands were like the first, like shrub roses. Right. Um, carpet, roses carpet roses after that. Yeah. And now with every variety of knockouts and drifts. Yeah, yeah. They just aren't the same because the flowers are so much larger, and they uh, are, you know, you can use knockouts for cutting, mm-hmm. but 
it's not like the same. Like if you handed a bouquet on Valentine's Day of mm -hmm. knockout roses, right? <laughs> let's just say your Valentine's not going to give you the same reaction no, that you would not. if you gave her a bouquet of Mr. Lincoln roses. Oh yes, then you would see the difference. That's right. right. That's right. No. And, and and you would say that a knockout rose would be more of a landscape rose, right? Yes. More of a yeah. It think of it as as a use as a shrub. As a shrub, yes. Mixed perennial borders, mm -hmm. gardens, things like that. Mm -hmm. Something tall in the background, right? Kind it's, of a hedge. It is a great a plant, mm -hmm. but it is almost being overused. Overused, yeah. You know, it's it's yeah. Everybody has. A, there's there's not as much a dynamic as you can get when you're right. doing some of the other varieties, right? Um. So what is a hybrid tea rose? Uh, and, and people are afraid of roses, by the way. And I don't, yeah, and I don't, know why. don't be, don't be afraid of roses. It, yeah. They just go in knowing they're going to require a little bit of care. Yeah, it's just another plant, right, Len? You but know. they are spectacular oh, to have. They are. Not only the look, but the smell. That's you right. Know, you get, you're getting that double whammy there. That's right. You know, it's double fine. delight. Yes. Double yes, delight. Yes, it is. You can smell it with your windows open mm -hmm. in your house. Oh, it's wow. like, wow, I can smell it. And that's a difference, too, with the uh, knockout roses and your hybrid teas and four abundance. You get that scent. Yeah. You know, yeah. And, little, well, with with knockouts, they have a slight fragrance, slight, and, yeah. but it's not nothing it's, like the hybrid tea. So okay. let's let's go through the some of the descriptions. A hybrid tea. Mm -hmm. Right. Upright. Upright, yeah. Large flowers. Yeah, beautiful. Dynamic colors. Oh, wow. And it is the classic cut rose. It is, yep. Floribundas. Floribundas, yeah. Uh, oh, beautiful, oh. like hybrid teas. Right. But they have more flowers on right. the plant. So That's right. think of it this way you, with a hybrid tea, right. you, you would appreciate every flower, big flower. Right. When like a single stem, you're saying, right? Right. Grandiflora, mm -hmm. or I'm sorry, Floribunda, it, it's you appreciate the plant the whole, with the whole, the whole, with all the flowers all on flowers. it. You can still use them for cutting, right. but it's just a little bit different. Now, is it like, is it like uh, clusters of flowers? Is that what would you... Use? Not clusters. It's just, just there's just more flowers, of them on the plant, sto oh, shorter okay. stem, a little bit shorter stems. I got you. Um, and Grandifloras are a cross between a hybrid tea and the Floribunda. Oh, okay. Um, Usually lots, like you said, clusters of blooms. Clusters. Um, oh, okay. But they also have larger flowers and longer stems. Oh, okay. And you're talking about six foot. Six foot, yeah. yeah. Five, six. And then mm -hmm. we can't forget climbers. Like oh, if you yeah. have a condition, um, I, I've mentioned this before, <laughs> that uh, Father of the Bride, that, that movie. Uh, yeah. I, I don't even know what the movie's about. No. But the house that's in the movie. Right. Is the most beautiful use of roses oh. because in the front of the house, uh -huh. uh, man, I'm a plant geek. All right. All right. <laughs> I'll stop. All right. So uh, climbers, long canes. Long canes, yeah. And that, that's another word for stems. And they can go pretty high, huh, Len? Yeah. 15 yeah. foot, no yep. problem. Yeah. <laughs> and then some climbers, they right. don't really climb and attach, but yeah. they get to be long enough to where they can be trained that there way. And sometimes On a like trellis kind of thing. Right? Don Juan, Blaze, yeah. um, Jacob's Ladder. Wow. Those are some varieties. Uh, Rosa Ragosa. Rosa Ragosa. Wow. What do you know about Rosa Ragosa? They're native plants to uh, sand, like in sandy areas, like yep. northeast uh, Asia. Down the shore. They're Down wild the shore. in the dunes. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yep. They're amazing. No care. No care. Yeah. They're pretty yeah. easy. <laughs> pretty flower. I'm going to say it. Mm -hmm. Ugly plant. <laughs> um, but the flower's pretty. Yeah. And then, of course, we talked about shrub. We, nope. We're not talking about shrub rose anymore. Yeah. All right. Valentine's Day. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and English roses. Oh, that did, now you're talking there, yeah. too, right? Yeah. Man? English roses yep. are, are special. Mostly right. David Austin's. David Austin, yes. Uh, great, big, fat flowers. Yeah. Yeah. Just just a different type Beautiful of Beautiful scents. Yes. Really, really. And, and mm -hmm. weird colors. Like, the colors oh, yeah. are like a... I don't know. How would you describe it? It's not like a vibrant, bright, you know, burn your retina yellow. Yeah. It's more of like a muted yellow, muted, but yes. the colors are like a mauves, and, mauves yeah. but they're big, Lavenders. great big flowers. Big flowers. And, and easier to care for. Easy. Like you said, very fragrant. Mm -hmm. so, very nice. But, all right. So, we told you about some of the types of roses. Mm -hmm. And then, the next thing we're going to do in our next segment, we're going to talk to you about how some of those roses are grown. So we'll be right back after this break. Fertilome Succulent Potting Mix with EcoPeat is the perfect ready-to-use potting mix for all your succulents. 
Fertilome Succulent Potting Mix is a blend of sphagnum peat moss, perlite, and eco-peat. Eco-peat is a natural wood fiber from peat bogs. When added to Fertilome peat moss, it produces a superior professional substrate with an exceptional ratio of air porosity and water holding capacity. Fertilome Succulent Potting Mix will ensure maximum drainage with ideal water retention. It's simply the best succulent mix on the market. Ask for Fertilone by name at your local garden center. Available at Daniel's Garden Center, Sumney Town Pike, Harleysville, Pennsylvania. Gaspers Home and Garden, 316 Tanyard Road, Richboro, PA. This is Julio Zamora from Bloomers in the Garden. Join us 7 p.m. March 9th at Bloomers Home and Garden Center for Sips and Succulents. We'll have a creative night of playing and planting while sipping your favorite beer, wine, or beverage. Sips and Succulents is a planting party. Bloomers Master of Ceremonies, Stephanie Taylor, and I will teach you how to create and care for a new succulent garden. Succulents are the perfect plants for anyone looking to take their planting and interior design to the next level. Call Bloomers to register at 856-589-0200. 7 p.m. March 9th at Bloomers Home and Garden Center, Sips and Succulents will be a fun night out for beginners and experts alike. You'll bring home a new skill, a beautiful new planter, and fun memories made with old friends and new. Registration is $45 per person and basic starter supplies are included. Call Bloomers today to reserve your space. That's 856-589-0200. Please remember this is a 21 and over event and any beer or wine is BYOB. Spots are limited so register early and bring a friend. Deadline for registration is March 1st. For more information, go to bloomers.com or call Bloomers at 856-589-0200 and I'll see you at the party. Hi, this is Len Schroeder from Bloomers in the Garden. Do you have a landscape, garden, or plant question? If so, call us on the Bloomers in the Garden hotline. Dial 609-685-1880. That's 609-685-1880. Don't be shy. We want to hear from you. And if we use your question on the air, we'll send you a free Bloomers t-shirt. Call us at 609-685-1880. That's 609-685-1880. And we'll see you in the garden. Well, and there's like hundreds of types of roses out there. And uh, they don't all perform well in the garden, do they? No, no. And there's so many terms with roses that confuse yeah. people, like a graft, Grafted, right? Yes. Mm-hmm. We, we talk about grafts a lot in all types of plants, but all, right. you know, not all roses are grafted, but most mm-hmm. are. And the difference is, so you have this, you know, okay, I'm a Mr. Grower and I find this beautiful rose. Okay. But when I grow it on its own root, it's not that, you know, it grows kind of slow and right. it's really pretty when the perfect conditions and so what happens is that you say, hey, we're going to stick it on a different root system wow. that is vigorous and grows fast. And it's going to give nutrients to that rose that you right. just found that is fantastic. Wow. And so we're going to graft it onto that. Okay. And it will take and that it has a different root. So a lot of times when you're, you know, think about this, ladies and gentlemen in the audience. Yes. When you are buying a rose. Mm-hmm. You pay it's 30, 30 to 50 bucks for a rose. Not bad. Not no. bad at all. Considering the fact that there are actually two plants where That's there's right. a graft involved. And if you find the graft at the base where of the rose, where almost at the right above the soil line, mm-hmm. there's something that looks like a knot, like, like a, a knot. big round yes. thing. Mm-hmm. And that that's where the graft has taken place. Wow. Is that something? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So that the root system mm-hmm. has a... Um, has a more vigorous mm-hmm. chance for the top to grow. Right. So the majority of roses are grafted. I like that. Yeah. Are grafted. Mm-hmm. Um, and that uh, I, I keep always forget what the bottom root system is, and it's actually a climber. Oh. And it, it's, uh, let's see, Dr. Huey is, mm-hmm. is one of them, and that's usually, it, it's used most of the time. Right. Um, that it's actually a climber. Oh, wow. 
Some people will come in. It's like, my rose is changing color. What happened? I had a oh. yellow, and now it's turned red. Huh. And what's that? happened is that the root has send up suckers, oh. and it's starting to show the actual bottom. So oh, I see. if you ever get that, and it's below the graft mark, you need to trim them trim out. Trim them Cut them out. Right. Cut that out. Yep. Sure. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. So how to, how to pick roses. I mean, it, it's... There are so many different varieties, oh. so so it's really hard. But mm -hmm. there's uh, one of our favorite nurseries, Centered in Nurseries. Centered, yes. Yep, like a them. New Jersey mm -hmm. nursery that is sold yeah. all in the Delaware yes. Valley. and family throughout. owned, right? Family mm -hmm. owned. Right. Great family. Blue family. Yes. Shout out to you guys. And the reason is, is that uh -huh. they understand that their product doesn't go to the garden center their product goes to the end user, the homeowner, uh -huh, right. and they made buying roses easy. They developed a series of roses called Hassle Free. Hassle Free, huh? Hassle Free. Uh, nice. And it is nice because yeah. too often it's like, well, does a Mr. Lincoln have disease problems right. or is there? They have a hmm. series of roses that have um, the least amount of problems, wow. disease, That's insect. Great. All of those things. Wow. And that Great. you just go and you select any one of their hassle-free roses. And you, yeah, I can't say, you know, they are guaranteed at bloomers, right. but you will have an easy time at, at growing right. roses. That's right. Yep. They're, they're not, they're not going to be 100% all the time. I mean, uh, no, not. I mean, but still, you have a better chance. Sure. And again, going to your garden center uh -huh. and sure. not Home Depot and Lowe's, That's right. uh, that you will have people that know. Right, what they're doing and That's have right. the time that this is what they do. They're yes. there to hold your hand. They're there That's to right. talk about the roses. They're there to talk about why you're going to have success and what you need to That's have right. success. You know, some of the other places, the bigger box stores, listen, they, 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 they need to put their people where they need to be. Right. And sometimes it isn't always that no, spot in the store there. or you, they you may not it. be familiar with that. So That's right. listen, Go to your independent garden center. Right. Okay. That, that's where you're going to have a real good hand holding experience. Right. Oh, yes. Yes. Not, and listen, we want you to succeed. Yeah. And we're there to make sure that you pick out great plants oh, that yes. will do great in, in your yard. Mm -hmm. And these are great for beginners, right? They right. are. Yeah. I mean, you know, if you want to start out, you've never had a rose. Yep. Get a hassle-free rose, and, and you'll be easy on your way. And then right. you can build up to right. maybe the hybrid teas. And ah, throw some hybrid teas in there, too. There you go. Mr. Lincoln, like Mr. Lincoln. I mean, you know, one of the most fragrant hybrid tea roses ever, real right. velvety double blooms. Oh, wow. Uh, you know, go ahead. Go, go ahead. ahead. Yeah, there you go. Do it. Yes. Do it. You gave them the permission, right? You now. have permission. <laughs> and if they die, You get sorry. another one, right? Well, they are. If they buy them at Bloomers, that's they're guaranteed right. for one year. There you go. That's right. Wow. Can't so, get, can't and that's that. the one thing that, you know, mm -hmm. we don't want you to fail. No, we don't. You know, we don't want you to fail. So, we're going to give you the information that you need. That's right. The, that's the how to take care of it. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. So, in our next segment, we're going to talk about what some of those things are mm -hmm. that you might need to know. Um, yeah. It. There are some touchy things with roses, yep. and we're going to talk about them right after these messages. Is your yard and landscape being destroyed by nuisance animal pests? If so, Bonite has a product to solve that problem. Repelzol is an all-natural repellent that works on deer, rabbits, skunks, squirrels, chipmunks, raccoons, and many other nuisance animals. It stays effective for up to two months. The all-natural ingredients in Repelzol use smell, taste, and irritation to keep animals away. Unlike other repellents, Repelzol has no unpleasant odor. Repelzol natural formula can be applied to trees, shrubs, perennials, and around edible crops. It also works to prevent animals from chewing on fences and structures. Repelzol is so effective that your satisfaction is guaranteed. Repelzol is available in a concentrate, ready-to-use, and ready-to-spray liquid formulations, and in an easy-to-use granule in a three-pound shaker and a six-pound bag for spreader applications. Bonide products are family-made in America. Look for Repelzol products at these fine stores. Animals and Gardens Unlimited, New Egypt, New Jersey. 
Berlin Agway, Berlin, New Jersey. Spots Hardware, Medford, New Jersey. This is Julio Zamora from Bloomers in the Garden. Join us 7 p.m. March 9th at Bloomers Home and Garden Center for Sips and Succulents. We'll have a creative night of playing and planting while sipping your favorite beer, wine, or beverage. Sips and Succulents is a planting party. Bloomers Master of Ceremonies, Stephanie Taylor, and I will teach you how to create and care for a new succulent garden. Succulents are the perfect plants for anyone looking to take their planting and interior design to the next level. Call Bloomers to register at 856-589-0200. 7 p.m. March 9th at Bloomers Home and Garden Center, Sips and Succulents will be a fun night out for beginners and experts alike. You'll bring home a new skill, a beautiful new planter, and fun memories made with old friends and new. Registration is $45 per person and basic starter supplies are included. Call Bloomers today to reserve your space. That's 856-589-0200. Please remember this is a 21 and over event and any beer or wine is BYOB. Spots are limited so register early and bring a friend. Deadline for registration is March 1st. For more information go to bloomers.com or call Bloomers at 856-589-0200, and I'll see you at the party. Hi, this is Len Schroeder from Bloomers in the Garden. Do you have a landscape, garden, or plant question? If so, call us on the Bloomers in the Garden hotline. Dial 609-685-1880. That's 609-685-1880. Don't be shy. We want to hear from you. And if we use your question on the air, we'll send you a free Bloomers t-shirt. Call us at 609-685-1880. That's 609-685-1880. And we'll see you in the garden. Well, Julio, roses. Now, again, this is our Valentine's Day show. Everybody out there, make sure you get your Valentine's Day. Some roses, cut roses. But our idea is go that step further and promise them a rose, rose garden, garden and plant them a rose garden. Yes. Love you it. can do it. Yes, you can you do can. it. And my gosh, you know, roses all summer long. Just think uh, about that every time. That's that, right. Long, yeah, long, long like, lasting. Yes. Yeah. I, I know it. why I love him so much. <laughs> <laughs> we love it. But let's see. Here's some things that you need to know. Go ahead, Len. When you plant roses, <laughs> mm-hmm. You're going to have some, and these are, again, hybrid roses. Right. We're not talking. We, we're we like being a little snobby yeah, about uh, okay. the shrub roses right. and that yeah. category. A little bit more quality, right? That's not quality. It's yeah. just, like we said, shrub roses, shrub roses, they're a landscape plant. Yeah, that's right. They're not a rose. Not a rose. Not, not, a, not a true rose. Not like we're talking about. So if you're going to be blending hybrid teas, floribundas, right. grandifloras, even climbers, Right. You're going to have some issues, and they come with some disease problems. Mm-hmm. They come with some insect problems, right. um, but they can be controlled. You yeah. just know that you need to do it. Oh yeah, on your lawn, right? Sure. If you have a lawn, you put down a crabgrass control. That's right. You just know you have to do it. Right. Right. Like clockwork. Like clockwork. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Same thing with roses. That's right. And roses have sprays that you can put down. That's right. That are both an insect. Mm-hmm. And disease at control. At the same time, right? At the same time, wow. same bottle, same everything. Wow, that's great. And you need to use it. And right. just use it throughout the course of the growing season. Yeah. So you go and you spray and mm-hmm. you want to. It's almost like an antibiotic. Right. Where you put a systemic insecticide in a systemic disease control. Right. And then that works in the plant system. Right. Protecting it against insects and diseases wow. throughout that growing season. That's great. How easy is that, huh? I tell you, and it lasts, <laughs> you know, so you, and it's not like you're going to have to do it every week. No. You'll have know. to do it probably every six to eight weeks, so that's like every month, you and, know, a half. month and a half to yes. two months. How easy is that? How many times is that? Right. Right? So just, Wonderful. just do it. Just right. do it and know that, hey. You got the beautiful flowers. And all of a sudden, <laughs> oh. Most, look what he did. They're oh beautiful. My gosh. Yeah, that's right. They're going to love you more so and more. Great. That's it. Yeah. We love it. <laughs> that's great. So, some of the things you, you need to, to know about, too. Right. Um, 
really, it's uh, pruning. Pruning, yes. Right? Do you have some advice on pruning, Julio? You don't want to go too crazy on pruning because uh, you're pretty much going to keep it at where, where it's at. If it's going to be three foot, well, you want you can maintain it at three foot you know, if you want, or four foot. Whatever. Well, it's not so much, it's not a hedge. No. Save that for the shrub roses. That's right. What you're going to do is is to get the hybrid roses to flower more often, there's a cluster of leaves. And if you look at a rose that first closest to the bud, it's going to have maybe three clusters of leaves. Mm-hmm. Then underneath that, it will be maybe four or five. And what you want to do is when you prune your roses after they're done flowering, or you're bringing them inside the house, you want to cut underneath that fifth cluster of leaves. Right. That promotes flowers. Wow. So if you don't, you end up getting a lot of leaf growth. Leaf. Yeah. yeah. So it's not the and same. No flowers, right? Yeah. Not, not, a, not yeah. many not flowers many, now. How many flowers? That's right. And that you also want to open it up. You want some airflow air in flow, there. Yeah. You do not want to mulch right. over that where we talked about earlier, we talked about that graft. Right. We want to leave airflow above that graft right. into that plant so oh, that yes. it helps you with your disease issues. That's right. You can get root rot, right? If you if you get too much water in there and it all the it gets too clogged. Well, up. if you water it too often, too absolutely. Often, yes. So mm-hmm. sprinkler systems are one thing oh. to, to be cautioned about. Oh, okay. If you go and you start with the sprinkler system, it's gonna possibly spread that disease oh, you know faster than you want yeah it's tough yeah it, it it's never it's never a good thing to be putting yeah. a, a lot of water yeah. on your roses so yeah. maybe readjust those heads right. soaker hose soaker hose yes. convert them into to a drip system right yep that would be the thing to do for sure yeah. for sure you know there are some things that roses get mm-hmm. that are viruses now there's rosette does the virus it, it it's uh, awful uh, we have some uh, I've got some that have no. uh, have it on from let's see there are some really 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 old when they first came out knockout roses um, before even we even knew what they were right we planted a big long hedge of them towards the back of Bloomer's oh, yes. property I remember that and that they now have a touch rosette disease oh they do uh, and that is spread by insects. Where insects will feed on a diseased plant and then go and fly to their next rose that they're going to eat and they inject it. Wow. Yeah. And transport they, it all they, over. They do. And wow. there's no cure. No cure. There's wow. no cure for it. So you you can try to plant. cut it out. You can try to, right. to get You're not going to have. And that's going to be right on, on the flower itself. Huh? No, no, no. It's on the actual foliage. Oh, on the app. It's oh, the foliage. Wow. It, the it looks thing. like, yeah, it's dwarfed. It's it's nasty. It, it turns. It, it looks like you have a different plant. Oh, wow. Yeah. Ba- it's not a good. bad thing. Not but good. It doesn't happen, doesn't happen that often. Yeah. If you start know. early with the insect and the disease problems, right. you should be clean Take pretty good. Of. Your insect is not going to be visiting your plant there to the point it. where it's giving you the rosette issue. So that's one thing you need to do from the get-go kind of thing. Yeah. Well, it, it's again, your the rosette it's it's a that's a no it, it's, it's a different thing. Done. There's really no control over it. So there's nothing you can do. No. Um you're going to eventually have to pull out that rose, the whole thing. But yeah. we're we're talking positives. Yes, right? We are. Yes, we are. <laughs> that right. If uh, fertilizing, and you're, right. you're going to have to fertilize often, yeah. um, I often say roses are pigs <laughs> because they just love, oh, love boy. fertilizer. They do. And they just keep growing and growing like crazy. That's great. Again, you need to go to your garden centers to walk you through how to right. grow a rose garden. Right. You know, yeah. it's, it's not hard. Not hard. No. It's not hard. No. It's just you need to go in knowing that you don't plant it and walk away and you're done. Yeah. So it's going to... It's going to take some care. A little bit, of, yeah. Yep. A little bit of care. Yep. Good things are earned. That's right. Yeah, we like that. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Take care of it. That's right. right. All right. In this next segment, we've got some garden ideas for you. Right after this. The Bird Sanctuary at Bloomer's Home and Garden Center is dedicated to the care and feeding of wild birds. We carry a flock of feeders like the Brome Squirrel Proof Feeder which has a lifetime guarantee. Brome makes fantastic feeders for frustrating squirrels and feeding songbirds. Bloomer's Bird Sanctuary has a vast selection of wild bird seed, 
suet, seed cakes, and mealworms. We carry Lyric, Coles, CNS, Pine Tree Farms, and our own line called Bloomer's Blend. Bloomer's Blend Songbird Magnet contains premium black oil sunflower, peanut splits, millet, safflower, and tree nuts. It's sure to attract the most colorful songbirds to your yard. Bloomer's Home and Garden Center is located in Washington Township in Gloucester County, New Jersey. Visit us online at www.bloomers.com. When you come in, ask for Shirley Spurbeck, Bloomer's Wild Bird Specialist. Mention you heard it on Bloomers in the Garden Radio, and we'll give you $10 off a 20-pound bag of Bloomers Blend Songbird Magnet Mix. This is Julio Zamora from Bloomers in the Garden. Join us 7 p.m. March 9th at Bloomers Home and Garden Center for Sips and Succulents. We'll have a creative night of playing and planting while sipping your favorite beer, wine, or beverage. Sips and Succulents is a planting party. Bloomers Master of Ceremonies, Stephanie Taylor, and I will teach you how to create and care for a new succulent garden. Succulents are the perfect plants for anyone looking to take their planting and interior design to the next level. Call Bloomers to register at 856-589-0200. 7 p.m. March 9th at Bloomers Home and Garden Center, Sips and Succulents will be a fun night out for beginners and experts alike. You'll bring home a new skill, a beautiful new planter, and fun memories made with old friends and new. Registration is $45 per person, and basic starter supplies are included. Call Bloomers today to reserve your space. That's 856-589-0200. Please remember this is a 21 and over event, and any beer or wine is BYOB. Spots are limited, so register early and bring a friend. Deadline for registration is March 1st. For more information, go to bloomers.com or call Bloomers at 856-589-0200, and I'll see you at the party. Hi, this is Len Schroeder from Bloomers in the Garden. Do you have a landscape, garden, or plant question? If so, call us on the Bloomers in the Garden hotline. Dial 609-685-1880. That's 609-685-1880. Don't be shy. We want to hear from you. And if we use your question on the air, we'll send you a free Bloomers t-shirt. Call us at 609-685-1880. That's 609-685-1880. And we'll see you in the garden. All right, Len, here we're back, and we're going to mix those roses up, aren't we, into yes. our garden? <laughs> well, you know, it does, a, lot of, a lot of roses are in a formal garden. Yes, they are. Right, where yeah. they're just different varieties, independent, right. um, independent individual plants yeah. that are appreciate each individual plant. Yeah, but there's nothing that says you can't mix that up, right? That's right. Yeah. What do yeah. What do you have? Do you have any ideas? Well, you can mix them up with perennials, and that would be a great uh, m- uh, mixed border right there. That's right. And you have the big flowers of of the f- um, roses, right? And then you get the uh, Contrast that with the smaller flowers, with yeah. the perennials. That nice, uh, nice look. I, there's, uh, we talked about peace, and there's a bunch of. Oh, uh, yeah. I've always wanted to do uh-huh. a pink hybrid tea, right, right, and in front and surrounding that, right. use Russian sage, where it uh-huh. has that blue and pink uh-huh. contrast. Oh wow, pretty, huh? It is pretty. Yeah. I like that. <laughs> and then do a border of something else, you know, yeah. not too radical, but yeah, that's right. But that soft blue right. and against that pink. That's right. Ooh, pretty, I like it. Pretty. Wow. And that's one thing you can. The colors, um, you know, the the colors yeah. that are available in roses. Oh. They used to say that you don't. They even have blue varieties of roses, wow. and there are black roses. Right. I don't know about black Purple. roses. This is Valentine's Day. <laughs> yeah, it's right, it, black. Yeah, it, it's really, a, it is a dark, 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 dark oh, purple okay. right. that makes it look black. Black. So it's so really it not black. Not really black. Okay. No, there's the, like, love here love. on Valentine's Day right. is a red rose that has a white back to the petal of the rose. Oh, wow. That's Very nice. Cool. Very, Very cool. cool. It's do unbelievable. Re- do you remember it? what I told you? My favorite What's roses? No, no, what? Come on. I told you. You don't remember? Oh, it was, um, hold on Come a on. Um, All right, I'm telling Was you. it Queen? No. No. Cary Grant. Cary, that's right. Cary oh, Grant. Cary Grant. Judy, Judy. Judy, uh, Judy. <laughs> um, Cary Grant is, right. is a beautiful orange. 
Oh wow! And it's one of those roses that comes out, and it and it as it wow. opens, nice. you know, we often talk about how mm-hmm. flowers when they open, that yep. they fade to a different color. Yes. But Cary Bl- Cary Grant is a great great wow. rose, easy to care for, and right. it's an orange. Oh. So it's something just a little bit different. different. Yeah, you don't see that. No, yeah, no. Not, I mean, not the regular red or it, right white or pink. yeah. Pink. I, mean, I mean, there's so many colors oh, because there's the bi colors and then. Like uh, There's hundreds, I, it, it's amazing. It's amazing. <laughs> yeah, um, and it. and going back to the David oh. Austin English oh. roses, right. mixing those in a perennial bed. Oh wow, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Yes. And and I noticed he puts um, boxwoods around his. Yeah, and they're beautiful. I mean, it kind of like draws the color even more. So it's unbelievable. That, yeah, that's right. Beautiful. That's right. I, yeah. And again, David Austin's David are Austin. English, English style English. roses. Mm-hmm. And Great smell. Mm-hmm. Huge fragrance, large, large flowers, flowers, like big cup flowers. Big. They almost look like the size of a peony. <laughs> wow. You know, they're big like they're that. They're huge. Yeah. They, they are. They're yeah. gorgeous. Yep. Gorgeous they're, flowers. They're easy to grow. Easy to grow. They they, they are. And, and again, every one is, is going to be different. That's going to mm-hmm. need to, to be. Right. You're gonna, you get roses get black spot. Right. That's the way yep. it is. Yep. Even... Knockout roses get black get spot, black spot. Yes. but we're not here to talk about those. Black right. knockout roses—that's another show. Yeah, that's right. We're here to talk about hybrid teas. That's right. Grandifloras, Floribundus, climbers. Mm. You know, um, it, again, mixing them mixing, in a yeah. perennial garden is is a great idea. Yeah, putting them right. on say the the side of your of your house where it's in your landscape bed. Right. But say not right by the door, but towards the corners of your house to where you mix some in there where you can use some unusual oh, colors. Yes. And again, it they're gonna be big flowers, so they're gonna show up. Yeah. You know? That's right. That's right. Yes. And you can put um ground cover, uh carpet, uh the carpet ones in the front of your bed, even that, and it'll be really beautiful up front. Yeah. In the front of your beds. Yeah. If you don't want to put it in the middle of the bed. You can put these little ground covers in the front, and uh, it'll be great. What type of ground cover? A ground cover roses. Um, they're the red. I seen the red ones by Well, Monrovia. that's usually carpet roses. Mm-hmm. They're yeah. only about two to three foot. Yeah, they get to be two to three foot yeah. tall. Easy, easy, easy yeah. to take care of. But yeah. there again, mm-hmm. to me, I look at them. They're they're not. Yeah. That's never promised you Hybrid a rose tees. garden. <laughs> yeah, that's and right. if you give me carpet roses, you still haven't delivered. Yeah, you I know. know. Sorry, man. <laughs> <laughs> You're taking the easy way out. Oh, man, yeah, time. yeah. <laughs> Take your rose garden. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Yeah, you, you might as well put down Pacassandra. Pacassandra. Oh no, we don't want that. <laughs> but yet, yeah, Pacassandra oh. underneath roses, not there a bad idea. Oh. But again, air circulation. That, yeah, that's that's right. key. That's right. That's key. That's key. But there are so many varieties of roses, right. and again, we we're talking around the fact of how knockouts have almost shrunk the availability of hybrid teas and grandifloras. Mm-hmm. You know, we used to sell hundreds wow. and hundreds and hundreds of hybrid teas, grandifloras, floribundas, and now, now, you know, those numbers are cut in half. Oh, wow. That's the same. I, we need to get that back, huh, Len? Yeah, and we talked about Jackson yeah. Perkins. Jackson, Jackson Perkins, Perkins is still around, but, like, right. almost in name only. It's right. It's not the dominant force within roses. I think Weeks right Weeks. now, Weeks Roses. Mm-hmm. Um, right. ha- they've been around since the thirties. Wow. Um, W E E K S, right? That's right. right. And that they have probably one of the, the best rose selections that are out there. Yes. So we still have some really good roses. Oh, that, sure. Uh, uh, There's plenty out there. It's just, breeders. it's just the demand has changed, right. but I think we're, it's like ebb and flow. Like everybody okay. wants to knock out, knock out, knock right. out. But Maybe where we'll... I think people, it's going the other way around. Oh, good. I hope so. Yeah. Yeah, and there's tree so. roses. Yeah, like tree, tree roses. Tree yeah. roses where that graft right. is not only at the root, and we talked about that. Remember that car, the Scion? Right. Nobody understood. Well, yeah. Why was it named a Scion? A Scion <laughs> is the section of stem between two sections of grafts. Right. So the Scion is attached to the graft, graft. rootstock, mm-hmm. and then on top of that is where the other graft is. So you'll have a two-foot section two foot. Where the um, if anybody's looking at YouTube, I'm using my hands. <laughs> um, that the top of the rose is actually like a popsicle. Yep. So or a lollipop. 
Right. And it has that. And that's very cool. That is that's cool. Yeah. And, I, and, nice. I, and I give you permission to use a knockout for that because that's, uh, <laughs> 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 we do have yeah, those. Yes, and do. they're easy to put in like easy. mixed containers with right. the proven winner thing and, and oh, doing that. Pulse. Pulse. Right. Yeah. Wow. Yep. Nice. Yeah. Nice. See all the, they have a lot of selection here. Yeah, yeah. There, there is. There and is there's a lot. And again, your garden centers are going to be the ones that help you decide how mm-hmm. to take care of them and, and right. make a strategic plan. Mm-hmm. So. Right. That uh, there you go. All right, so Very nice. It is. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah. Love is in the air, Holland. Love is in the air. Our, <laughs> our, Brett, are you you up there? All right. Thank you, Brett. Brett, we're <laughs> moving on to our our next set of commercials. We'll be back yes. right after this. Bloomers in the Garden is brought to you each week by Bloomers Home and Garden Center. Bloomers is an award-winning garden center just 20 minutes from Philadelphia. Bloomers has been providing expert advice turning brown thumbs green for over 30 years. At Bloomers, we want you to ask us every question, even if you think it's silly. We share information in a friendly, non-judgmental way that is meant to teach and spread the joy of gardening. Visit Bloomers Home and Garden Center in Washington Township, Gloucester County. For directions, go to bloomers.com, and we'll see you in the garden. Well, Julio. Oh, boy. Yeah, man. Ooh. There's so much to learn with roses. Oh, my goodness. First of all, Valentine's Day. Yes. Everybody get out there, buy your sweetheart yes. roses for Valentine's yeah. Day. Sweet girls. Yeah. You know, yes. spend a little money. Yes. Yeah, get good bit. roses. Go to your, your local florist. garden center. 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 Go to a yeah. florist. Yeah. They are more impressive. And what's that special tip? Do you remember, Julio? Special tip. Deliver them to the office. Oh, yes. Yeah. I like that idea, Len. Yeah, that's Ooh, it. Ooh, we're going to get all kind of. Better yet, <laughs> you bring them to the office. That's right. There <laughs> oh, you go. You talk about brownie points, oh, I'll tell you goodness. what. That's it. <laughs> you might then say, whoa. <laughs> and also, oh hey, at Bloomers, we're selling flower show tickets at this point. That's right. So give her roses and wow. a show. There you go. Oh, okay, so you're going to do this. Let's see. Uh, you really want to hit a home run. Dozen roses. Right. You get flower show tickets, show tickets for a date and dinner. Wow. And you promise that rose garden to plant it later on. Then in later spring. on in the spring. Oh, they boy. They do it that. together, huh? <laughs> yeah. I love that. Just call me Cupid. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. So, again, <laughs> garden centers are out there to help you with That's your rose garden. You. So, if you're thinking about it, Start dreaming now. That's right. Be bold. Let's Look go. up varieties. Go yes. to different websites. Yes. <laughs> All right. Listen, thank you for joining us, and we'll see you next week in the garden. See you in the garden. Thank you, Brett. <laughs> Bloomers in the Garden is an hour long gardening radio program that airs to over 6 million residents throughout the Delaware Valley. From Allentown to Wilmington, from the Main Line to the Jersey Shore. Bloomers in the Garden can be heard twice each Saturday morning, first at 8 a.m. on 860 WWDB and again at 9 on 610 a.m. ESPN Radio. Each episode of Bloomers in the Garden will be broadcast on Bloomers' Facebook page and available as a podcast on bloomersinthegarden.com. Bloomers in the Garden is adding sponsors. Share your message to our large, diverse group of listeners. Commercials and segment sponsorships are available at incredibly affordable prices. Let Bloomers in the Garden get your message out to one of the largest and most diverse populations in the country. If you're interested in joining us in the garden, please visit bloomersinthegarden.com or email len at bloomers.com.